Hello, Dearborn Heights residents. It's uh, Friday. Uh, we're doing our weekly update uh, for the Warren Valley Golf Course. Uh, I, I received uh, some pictures of uh, the green. Uh, it's starting to look really good. And uh, uh, as far as the, the golf course itself and the banquet, they're still doing demo. Uh, they applied for uh, improvement, uh, trying to get a license uh, to do uh, work uh, inside the banquet hall. And there's uh, also a talk that uh, they're trying to get uh, a five uh, star uh, restaurant to come in and uh, they're in discussion right now. So it's gonna look really good. Um, I've been talking to the concessionaire and he has a lot of positive things to say uh, for next year. So we're looking forward to it. Uh, I'll keep the residents uh, updated. Uh, also uh, a few days ago uh, on Wednesday, we had Officer Kokoi. Uh, from the police department. Uh, he came into uh, OW Best. He was talking to the kids about vaping, about internet safety, uh, about their cell phone usage, and just safety in general, uh, with uh, ta not talking to strangers. And uh, it was a very great, it was actually a great presentation to these students. Uh, the students uh, uh, paid attention to it. They were asking a lot of great questions. I was there. And uh, thank you, Officer Kokoi, uh, for putting this thing on. It was value added, and hopefully we can spread it throughout the districts and also throughout the whole city uh, to uh, teach safety, especially vaping. There's a lot of kids vaping uh, in schools, and so we want to make sure we do the awareness. Uh, it's pretty much mostly is health awareness, and it's also illegal. Also, Officer Eunice does the same thing, similar talks at uh, Crestwood schools. Also this week we did, uh, we had an LAHC uh, ribbon cutting and LAHC does a lot of things, a lot of great things with the community. Uh, they do food drives and they have uh, mental health awareness. Uh, they do a lot of different community initiatives uh, in both cities, uh, Dearborn and Dearborn Heights. So congratulations on their uh, ribbon cutting and uh, look forward to uh, working with you guys. Also the good fellows. The applications uh, for aid uh, are being accepted uh, throughout November uh, 18, and uh, they are being distributed electronically also uh, in schools, and they are available in the, on the organization Facebook page and also on the city website. And also you can get a hold of uh, Zan Zadigian, and uh, he will give you whatever information you need and make sure we participate in this year's Goodfellows. Uh, there's a lot of uh, kids uh, that need uh, help this year, and uh, we've gotten a lot of responses, you know, from from families that are in need. So please participate in the Goodfellows this year. Uh, we have also the uh, the library's trunk or treat events. Uh, they start at 6 p.m. on Saturday at the Caroline Kennedy, and 6 p.m. also on Sunday at, at John F. Kennedy Library. Uh, this is for uh, uh, trick-or-treating and as well as they'll have uh, mini golf in uh, the libraries that will benefit uh, the good fellows. So make sure you bring the kids, you know, it's great, uh, great festivities in both libraries. Also on Monday, uh, we're doing uh, the trunk or treat at Annapolis. Uh, we have a lot of sponsors that will be there. So make sure you bring the kids uh, to come through uh, trick-or-treating. It'll be at the Annapolis parking lot. So uh, we'll be there, uh, the police and fire will be there as well. And I look forward to uh, seeing as many of you as possible. So uh, please come, uh, bring the kids uh, in costumes. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. And uh, again, if you need anything, uh, you can reach out to the city uh, hall. Uh, you can give us a call at 791-3490 or stop by anytime. I hope you have a safe weekend.